Real talk, yeah. just rap pack. Besides that, yeah. nobody I trust. Back again, like I never left. Young Sen, I said us to the death. We turned up till we go deaf. Hi guys, and welcome to another video. Today, we are turbo cleaning the Leon, which means we're gonna pop the bonnet. We've got this stuff. I don't know what it's called. I'll get photos of it in a second. But yeah, basically what we've got to do, pop the bonnet, take off a certain part. My dad's doing it with me, so he'll be able to help me explain a lot of it. Because I don't actually know, but all I basically know is you spray stuff into, I think it's the intake, and it then goes through the turbo and then out the exhaust, and it will clean all of the soot, There's all the soot that's built up in the turbo. But it's got an EGR blank, so in theory, there shouldn't be a lot there in the first place. But any that is there either before the EGR blanking plate or just in general, hopefully it'll be cleaned out with this. So I'm just gonna get it ready before dad arrives with the turbo cleaning stuff. Let's get into this. Dad's arrived, dad's arrived to save the day. Don't crash into my car. Your car's a lot bigger than I thought, Jesus. Tools, tools. Tools. It's funny, cause you two have both got 18s and you don't- They're 19s. Are they? Yeah. Well, look. <laughs> I know your wheels are massive. It's crazy, isn't it? Like, Jade's literally look like baby wheels. I mean, Jade's rears look better because they're like more concave, mm. but like. Compared to mine, they're Yeah, they look so small. Are yours 21s? 20s. 20s. Ah. I don't have any flyers. Do you need flyers for that? Because you can't blow through the mat. Straight from there, not yeah. through the map. Straight into the turbo. Straight into the turbo, but we don't have the things to take yet. So that's the only thing that needs to come off. Yeah. That thing there. Yeah. So doing a turbo clean, the only thing that needs to come off is whatever that is. That. Yeah, there you go. Look, he's off. Done. Sweet. And then you just pull that apart. So that's Revive Turbo Clean. 40 quid for a set of Revive Turbo Clean, which you spray in to the intake. Into the intake, I was right in my intro. I said I think you spray into the intake, and I was right. So you spray into the intake a uh, certain amounts of it, so there's like A, B, and C for certain amounts of time. It cleans your turbo for you. It has to be done on the cold engine. Stone cold engine. Stone cold engine. Not just cold, stone cold. If your system, if your intake can do it, you, you fit that and do it upright, or you don't fit that, put that on and you hold it upside down, pump, pump the system up. Yeah. So then when you're spraying it in, it still can do it. If it's that, see it's sucking from the bottom. Yeah. So it wouldn't work. So we need to take the intake off of the... Math sensor. Math sensor to spray it in directly in there so it can go through the turbo and clean it and then come out the exhaust. Yeah. There we go. So that's ready to be sprayed into. So what's next? So next, it's start the car. Start the car. Prime this. 25. Yeah. So we're going to prime the revive kit, get it ready, start the car, and then it's a case of holding it at certain revs for a certain amount of time, isn't it, basically? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my point of view where I'm holding the car a certain amount of revs. So it's 1,800 revs for, what, 250 mil? For diesel, it's 1,800 for A, 2,000 for B, and then, what, 2,500 for C? No, it's back. It's or is it 18 for the first one. Yeah. Then 2,000. Yeah. Then back to 18 for the last one. Ah, oh, okay, cool. So simple. Hold on. There you go. So right now I'm holding the car at 1800, 1800 revs, because I've concentrated on my life.
seconds. Yeah, letting it take over. Now just give it a few revs, just you know, kind of Okay for a few seconds. Yeah. Take it off. Yeah. Smoke it. Right, time to reattach. Okay, so now we've got to put the intake back on. Nice and easy, just push it on. Then it's a case of getting that. What are they called? No grips either. No well, no, that thing there, that clip, that pain in the Spring clip. Spring clip. Now it's just on tick over, cleaning out the rest of the revive turbo clean out of the dpf out of the cat out of the turbo just cleaning it all out now take it for a run really get it through the system i can't open it oh <laughs> i did wonder fine why don't you just lean in oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> i didn't quite think of that so we're now going for a drive And the boat is so annoying. Right, oh, don't know what I'm indicating. Oh, sorry for the camera. <laughs> Sean told me, completely unrelated, but he can't wrap my carbon bag. They like the car. They like put their bombs up like, go on! <laughs> Ironically enough, I need to at the moment, so they probably enjoyed that. <laughs> You're getting the show you ordered, guys. Yeah. Every single time, bone dry, second gear, just wheel spin. It cannot handle the power. What's handy is going from this roundabout that I'm about to go on to, onto the link road i can absolutely go for it without even breaking the speed limit like i can just hoon it up the 60 if there wasn't a, a renault spas in my way or a renault scenic sorry so i'm just gonna hold off oh there's just traffic <laughs> so I'll, I'll go for it in a second so that was one gear that was third Normally you're able to go second, third, and then go into fourth, but traffic. What was good is there was no smoke during all of that. No white, which is the revive kit, and no black either, which is always good. Although tune diesels will always pump smoke, diesel, black smoke anyway, but if they're tuned properly, it won't billow billow out unless they're making big power. So you can tell a bad map from an actual fast car all day long. Right guys, I just took the car out for a drive to run the Revive turbo clean stuff through it. After about a sort of half an hour drive, I, I did sort of general town driving. So I like drove through the village and stuff like that of the area where I live. And then I gave it a bit of a harder, hot, long run all the way down Link Road or Carriageway and then came all the way back on the same road. And the car feels a lot sort of more responsive. So like it picks up a lot cleaner or it picks, it picks up a lot earlier. There's like no sort of that, ooh, like it, it, it's struggling. It, it feels more free. I don't know if that's because the turbo is... Um, the valves or the vanes are opening and shutting a lot better so it means that it can pick up boost so much cleaner um it also feels like it's running a lot better so like where you're on it and to be fair the car's you know it's got a lot of power anyway so i won't notice loads of difference but it felt like while i was in like third gear and fourth gear foot to the floor and it was just going through the revs it didn't feel like there was ever a hiccup or there was ever any sort of restriction it just felt completely free breathing no restriction and it was and it never tailed off so it was like from 2000 revs to 3000 revs from 3000 revs to 4000 revs it was like the same time so it was like just absolutely screaming through the revs as clean as you like would I recommend it? Yeah, I think it I think it genuinely has cleaned out the turbo 
and if you have a DPF, it'll clean out the DPF. If you have a cat, it'll clean out the cat. Um, but I've had all that, all of those gutted anyway, so that's just basically just de-sooted it, which it will soot up anyway just for general fuel. But it's nice to know at the moment it is clean as it's going to be. Alongside with the EGR delete and the catch can, obviously the turbo has been sort of preserved as much as it could be anyway. So the turbo clean will really get rid of anything left or that has been left over time. But yeah, I think it is really good. I, I would recommend doing it to any car. You can do it to petrols and diesels. Has to be turbos, obviously. Yeah, a basic summary of the turbo clean. Once you've used it, you've run it through the system, I find that it enables your car to rev cleaner and also your throttle response is more reactive. So you have a better throttle response, like immediate sort of, even if it's a slower car, you'll still feel it just picks up that little bit better. And also when you're going through the revs, it feels like there's less restriction. So it just feels more free breathing. Um, if you have an induction kit, your induction kit's louder because it feels like it's sucking more air, more air in, as well as the turbo whistle. The turbo just works better, which means you get more power, which means everything is more aggressive. So my exhaust is louder, those sort of things. So yeah, in a summary, if you've got a, tur if you've got a turbo car, I would 100% recommend cleaning the turbo with this revived kit or you know any other sort of company that's just the company that my dad bought for me um but yeah thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one.